Mondragon, hardworking and collaborating people. Because of its rural environment, Mondragon is a village with a livestock and agricultural tradition, but it really is a villa of industrial culture. There is a relevant human and entrepreneurial activity that supports this fact. From ancient times, this industrial tradition is well known. Metalworking, with its mines activities of Undalaj and the transformation of iron in the foundries, most of it extracted from its mines, are key factors to get to know the development of the villa. The ordinances of the Cofradía de San Valerio in the district of Meat Reca already described those activities in the 15th century. Most of the population, around 1,900 inhabitants at the time, worked on jobs related to the extraction and transformation of iron. The iron and steel from Mondragón were highly appreciated then. So much so that kings as well as armies requested arms made in Mondragón. Not only because of its nature, but also because the treatment undergone. The best swords, among the famous swords from Toledo, were made up of the raw material obtained and elaborated in those places. Metalworking in Mondragón had to be reinvented. Thus, in the 19th century, the locksmith and blacksmith products gave life to the town. That is the reason why Mondragón became known as the locksmith villa. Under such circumstances, the company Unión Cerrajera was created in Mondragón. It got to employ more than half the population and became the main industry in Guipúzcoa. A company from those times which also had a relevant social activity, caring about education, housing and a variety of benefits for its workers. It was also the cradle of the syndicalism in Mondragón in its fight for the improvement of the workers' conditions. To a certain extent, the biggest cooperative experience developed in the world is the heir of that big company, the cooperative experience of Mondragón. The promoter of this movement, the priest, Mr. José María Arizmendiarrieta, started his way in the villa, parallel to his activity for the church at the apprentice school of the Unión Cerrajera. He held a close relationship with the students and among them the first entrepreneurial activities saw the light. His job was based upon education. Not in vain he assured that education was an investment and not an expenditure. From the apprentice school he started to create the Polytechnic Professional School, which was the true embryo of the cooperative experience. The development of this experience has resulted into a group of industrial, financial, distribution and knowledge cooperative companies which are located in Mondragón. This organization is known today under the name Grupo Mondragón and thousands of people come to know firsthand its organization. But Mondragón is more than the cooperatives. Many cutting-edge companies form its industrial structure. Many of them still related to locksmith and blacksmith, and others to research and new technologies, and also to many different sectors. Furthermore, and though the percentage of the primary sector is not highly relevant as to its productivity and employment, it is worth mentioning that the farm products are still a reference for the people of Mondragón. This sector is steadily improving its performance thanks to actions aimed to boost its reappraisal. The tertiary sector plays its role of region header, providing services that make many people from the neighboring villages come to Mondragón. Thus, we may talk of a dynamic and entrepreneurial town people able to face the historical, technological and human development of today's world.